Hi folks, Dave Cross here. I want to share with you a simple technique, a very effective technique, when you want to colorize just one portion of a photograph without making a selection. It uses an adjustment layer, as we'll see, and the only catch to it is it really needs a photograph where there's one unique color that doesn't exist anywhere else. So, for example, if you had a photograph of a green car on a green football field, you wouldn't be able to just change the car because everything that's green will change. But when the circumstances are right, it works really effectively. So, for example, in this photo I took of this dancer, Alex, I've decided I want to change the color of his shirt and also his matching blue on the tube socks. So what I'll do is I'll add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And just to show you that it really doesn't matter what settings you have up here, I'm going to choose green. Now clearly I'm not trying to change the color of anything green, I'm trying to change the color of the blue. But just to show you it comes down to not what you pick from this menu, but what you choose down here in this eyedropper. So if I click on this eyedropper and click on his shirt, I'm going to actually expand this a little bit so you can see what's happening. Down at the bottom here there's this little range of color. Now as I hold down the shift key I'm going to go over different areas. I just want to make sure I get any different shade of blue. Once I've done that then it's just a matter of changing the hue slider and you'll see just like that. See how easy that is? I've just changed the color of his shirt and the stripes on his tube sock without making a selection. Of course I could also change other settings like saturation and lightness if I want to get any other kind of shade to what I want. Now as I mentioned this only worked that well because that was the only area where that blue color existed. However, remember it is an adjustment layer so that if you did find that there were some areas away from your subject that were changing colors you didn't want to, you simply paint with black on the mask to remove the color from color change from those areas. Now where this gets also really interesting is you can apply the same theory to video. If you have a video clip in Photoshop and you want to change the color of one area, even if it's moving, and this is really interesting, but again, same rule apply. It only really works well if you have a color that's relatively unique. So here's an example. I've opened this video clip, and if I look at my timeline, you'll see there's just a short little video clip with moving, but you can see the color of this old boathouse in the background is green. Now there is some green over here as well, so that would potentially cause a problem, but let's try it out and see. So we're going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer, and again I'm going to just show you that I can pick anything, doesn't really matter. Now if I take my eyedropper and I'm going to go over the different shades of green, and then let's see if we can't change the color to something a little more unusual. See that this color has changed pretty well. Now sometimes it's easier if you oversaturate a little bit because then you might spot some areas that didn't change color. This one actually looks pretty good, but if I notice anything else, I just tell them the shift key and add to that. And then let's play and see what happens. Let's close this first. Sure enough, you can see it's moving and the color is changing throughout the video clips. So there you go, a pretty cool way to potentially help you. Now I always very carefully use words like potentially and theoretically because of course it's going to really depend on your image. But as you saw, as long as you have some fairly unique color, then you have this ability to change the color of something, either in a photo or even in video, using an adjustment layer without making a selection. Thanks for watching, I'm Dave Cross and we'll see you again soon.